Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. I got asked for making a class setup video for my Greatsword Rapier build. I did 44 kill one dead with it and yeah people ask it in the comment section and in my friend too when I was just playing with it so there you go it would be easier like that if I should and I explain why I do stuff so the attribute 100 strength for the slash damage you want the light and EV damage too Bonus backstab, the free dodge. So the 100 strength, 200 dex, really important. I feel like uh, the con, 200 con with food. I think it's really important. So 175, so you can use like um, stuffed calamari that is 30 con food and put it there. Never have enough con. You can put in like the 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 point that are over. You can put it like in strength if you want that would be the best place to put it if you don't want to put it in con because it, it, it's half dex and half strength so you, you better to put it in strength because it will scale more of it if you put it there all right sorry if you hear my dog walking behind all right so why i do it like that it's really important for me to do it like that, I feel like, because you don't need to do damage when you attack people over 90%. You want damage all the time. See what I mean? Like, you want damage all the time, not, not like during 10% of the fight. And that is the same reason. After getting a Sun Sense, you don't need that. You want damage all the time, not one attack every 10 seconds. Uh, same thing for that, when you kill someone, it doesn't happen that much often, so yeah, like even if I kill 44 people with it, I don't feel like it would help me, and it's 30 minute and 44 kills, so yeah, explain a lot, I, I feel like you better go for that, you gain a 45, always good to have 45 for 3 seconds, it's short, but because of this one, you gain for each buff on you, gonna gain 3% damage. So, this buff that's gonna be on you, gonna give you 45 and 3% damage. And same for the unflinching blade, it's the grit, it does that. 3% more damage, and then you apply a bleed, and this bleed will make you do. 10% more damage, critical chance, sorry, it will give you 10% more critical chance. So yeah, this is pretty good to have the bleed and the grit, always good too. Uh, I don't need to go in strength because I have a bit of grit, love it. So yeah, I think this one really important too. I'm not gonna go over every perk, but I think everything there is really important. The disease is really important to uh, it work on potion. You're gonna disease a dude. He's gonna use a potion and it will heal for not uh, that much. So I think you kind of want to disease, and you can do when you're ru running after someone. You don't need to do the entire movement. Uh, you're running after someone. You can dodge skyward and then keep moving. It will launch you on someone straight up. And same when you do the cross cut, it lunges you a bit every time on the people. So I think uh, those attacks are really nice. Um, so yeah, I think everything there is uh, well explained. That's you can read if you want. You you can trust if you want to. 
All right. So for the rapier, pretty simple build. I want my rapier cooldown reduced, set, that's why I go for that. And yeah, I want 10% damage for sure. Why not? And while enemy are below, when your stamina is below 40%, it almost never happen with the rapier when you go for damage with it, because you gain stamina on every hit. And you're gonna spam the evade that's gonna give you stamina too if you dodge uh, enemy attack. Deal 10% damage when you heal is full. Your heal is never full, bro. Alright. So, we gone over the attribute. We gone over the weapon mastery. Um, so, let's go over the weapon. It's a bind and pick up weapon. You can drop it in Brimstone Sun around this area there. Maybe it's there, but I think I'm pretty sure it's there. There's two cat that's found there, and you find that. And there's a bus there to that drops something, but I, I'm pretty sure it's this one there. I'm not a big PV or of open world shit. I do M10, but. Like, not that much open world farming, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's around there. You can go look uh, tutorial on YouTube about this. I'm pretty sure the YouTuber just spam those type of video. So yeah, Sundering Repost, always good. Refreshing Evasion, you want this. Why? Because you're gonna escape your enemy, dodge in your way. You're gonna gain back flesh. You're gonna gain back Repost, Evade. And spam it again to evade again. Uh, if you stun your enemy with a repose, you can EV attack it, he's even more ran, or if you see uh, EV armor that everyone have hard time to kill, there are 5 hitting him and he's not dying, you can just try to like EV attack it a couple times and bait, bait him into a repost, so he's gonna be double ran down and dead, and you do, do combo and finish it. Uh, for the great sword, I like King Vicious and First Attunement. I don't want Twarding Strike. Um, I try the Rogue. I feel like Rogue can be good with like King Empower Vicious, but you're gonna be, need to be sneaky, go in the back of the people, and like be uh, do some coward move and shit. But with King Vicious and First Attunement, you're sure of what you do. You can go in the face of the people and. Hit them, they're gonna hit you and retaliate, and you're gonna still do good DPS, then that's great. Mostly with the Mortal Empowerment Ring, like you're gonna hit crits, and your crits are gonna be insane with the Vicious. We love that. Everyone loves hitting big crits. Alright, let's go for the armor. Alright. So. Shrinking Fort. I have two stack of Shrinking Fort of this build. Why? Because I gain a biff of 45 by my setup. And I had a healer and there's healer everywhere and there's 45 everywhere in the game. So my goal is to kill the people fast. I need more freedom, refreshing evasion and resilient. This is what I need the most to be able to move. To my target, kill it and run away as quick as I can. Critical retribution will help me to quick to kill my tar target as quick as I can. If it retaliate and I, I'm going for target that does retaliate, so really nice. I love it. Um, yeah. Next piece, refreshing ward. You don't need more than one piece. I think for a light armor user, you don't want more than one piece. Some people say it's useless, but I think if you're a melee with light armor, you don't want more than one stack. But one stack can make the difference when you have a couple people healing. Like, most of the time you don't have a healer because you're light and you're running around. But, oh, you find a, a sacred ground and you fight against three or four dude, and boom, your cooldown keep refreshing and refreshing. That's nice. And if it don't happen... It, well, it, it's fine too. I, I mean, it's not really that dead perk. I really like it. Um, 
free down resilient leeching crosscut. I like leeching crosscut. It's not the best perk, but I think um, rentless freedom is better. I had a hat with rentless freedom, but I wanted more refreshing evasion and more freedom instead. So I've gone with those glove. I had glove with the rentless freedom and a hat too, but I finished it by took it, take it off just to make sure I had like the good amount of freedom and shit like that. Because Rentless Freedom is good, but at the same time, um, you don't need it that much. Like we are not used to play like that that much. That it, we need that. I guess it helps a lot. It's a good perk, and I think I can trade one refreshing evasion stack for it right now. But that would be the only sacrifice that what I would be willing to do. So yeah. Uh, freedom, resilient, reaching, cross cut. You want three freedom stack. I think it helps to evade shrinking energy. It's uh, this. You want that four resilient stack, two shrinking four, and yeah, all the rest refreshing evasion. Like you want, you want refreshing evasion a lot, and like just refreshing kind of good too, cause. If you look the cooldown 40 seconds, I have time to dodge how many times in 14 seconds? You see I dodged 4 times. Almost 6 times. So yeah, that's really worth it to have it. Alright, uh, the necklace, divine heal, stamina recovery. I think the stamina recovery is really nice. You can go for the champion amulet, we'll do almost the same. Cheap ring, that should cost almost nothing. You can, everyone can have it uh, in the market pretty easy. Uh, I I need to find better, I guess. It's one of the next upgrade I need, but I'm not using I need this setup. It's more like a OPR and shit like this build. So, guard any ring, always good. Still this the, this uh, item is nice. I want more refreshing vision, nimble. People are shitting. On nimble but the thing is when you dodge you're immune to something so even if you gain one dodge every 10 seconds even if it's one dodge every 30 seconds I don't care man it's one immunity every 30 seconds man immunity bro all right so refreshing toast pretty good everyone want that too uh, yeah, blue tools, you don't want that, but I have it because I don't care. And yeah. Um, I'm going to show you some move. Like, the dude is running away, and he have 1 HP. And if you do a light attack, it's long. See, but if you do the cross cut, you got 2 attack, and then you, you have a haste. Because every 10 seconds, like you have a cooldown, you gain a haste for 5 seconds every 10 seconds when you use an ability. So you can run to the two, to that thing, cancel it in the middle, and then it's gonna launch you on the dude and give you haste to follow it. You don't need to, to cancel it if the dude is stopped running away, but I feel like if he's running away is one of the best things to do, just running. And you do two two and you keep running or like just this the skyward slash. You can, you can like follow him with that to it's work pretty good. But I mean, if you don't have the if you don't have the rentless rush on your cooldown, your best option will be that. If you have a rent if you have the rentless rush, well, go for the rentless rush to gain the distance and then. Do a dodge and then you, you can go for that or like you do the rentless rush and then you cancel your, your skyward slash. Like you do the first strike and you cancel it just to gain the distance and then you do another dodge and then you do the that and you cancel it. You see what I mean? You can do combo with that. So yeah, it, I'm gonna try to do something. If you do that, then you cancel it. 
and then you do that you can cancel it again and then go for a the attack because the dude not gonna have stamina he's gonna be out of almost everything if he's not a ranger if he don't have um, repulse and you, you see like the invincibility stick and shit well so yeah that was it uh jumps on dust pretty nice uh jumps on dust we want that you can use a power like the powerful ones strong who cares um the heal very important to use the infuse and uh yeah don't use common and um, the rune I was using, the detonate rune, I like the detonate rune, it's mostly for the haste. And they're like, get away from me. That's pretty nice, because, yeah. I really like stone form too, and I think, uh, like, if you go stone form, you're more like a tank. But, like, um sword and shit, a hammer and shit like this tank and if you're more like a blunderbuss, IG, RVG tank or medium you want more grasping vine and if you're like a melee that run pretty quick you want to gain distance to reach your target so like several things and it's pretty nice so I like uh, we have kind of balance between the three heart rune that we can change between roll like uh, I'm doing couple roll you can see I have a lot of here that I use so yeah I can give tips about all those roles and yeah so I wish you guys a good day and peace